I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad I just wanna stay bad, stay mad Shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I'm sick of being cautious I'ma go cause some pain, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's lane, call a shoplift Sick of hearing everyone complain when they thoughtless Taste the pain, it's like candy canes It makes me go change into a better frame Into a better name, society Welcome back to Frank's Model Aviation Workshop. This episode, we're going to continue with the build of the Top Flight 60 size P40E Warhawk. We're going to concentrate on the wing. I'd like to get the slots cut out for the landing gear to clear, bondo the seams, and I got an issue with an alignment with the uh, plywood uh, reinforcements on the flaps. I'm going to show you. I'm going to address that as well. Maybe get to fiberglassing the wing. Uh, the ailerons still need covered. So I'll get to that eventually. But uh, first things first, I wanna work on these gear pods. So if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that notification bell so that you can be notified of future uploads. And be sure and like and share my videos. I'd really appreciate it. Somebody uh, out there might get something out of them. So without further ado, let's get started. So I got uh, my number four sheet metal screws, just kind of like hand tight in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna screw them in and after I take the uh, gear pods off and the gear out. I'm gonna screw them in straight, take them out and harden the threads with uh, CA, thin CA. Do that on both sides. And the issue I'm having <clears throat> with my plywood, it should be lined up. There should be a plywood plate right here, lined up with that slot. And on the right wing, it's correct. You can see that it's lined up. Here's the plywood, and it's lined up pretty much with the uh, aileron or the flap servo bay. But on this one, you can see it's off a bay. Now let's see. Yeah. Right here is the plywood. And if you go up, it's aimed to this bay. So I'm gonna put a piece of plywood in this bay. This one will be fine. That looks like it's lined up. So I'm gonna, I'll am i be happy with that. So I'm gonna have to work on the left flap. I'll put a mark on it so I know which one I need to do. And still need to cover my ailerons. I hinged up the flaps to, uh, you know, to get them working. I sanded them. They, they just need primed and painted. But uh, it's turned out pretty good. This is about as smooth as I can get it until after I fiberglass it. I'm going to run a super fill fillet along this, along the length of it. And uh, here's that super fill stuff. I posted it on Facebook, but it's a two part, two to one deal. And you can get it from Aircraft Spruce. You can get it from Wix Aircraft Supply or Brodak Manufacturing. They sell smaller tubs. This is the, uh, I think it's the quart size. I probably won't use that much in in all the planes that I've that I'm going to be building. So I may have extra to waste, but it lasts for two years. Once it's, uh, I think it's two years sealed. So once it's open, it's probably a year. I don't know. But I'm going to use it while I can, and if I have to, I'll buy some more later on. But anyway, we'll get the, the landing gear pods off, the landing gear demounted, and uh, 
we'll get to going on this. I gotta fill the seams with Bondo. I, mean, I might use Super Fill for that. I probably could. So I'll try it, and uh, we'll get that going. And uh, watching my buddy Mike Bayona <laughs> build his P40 while I'm doing this, it keeps me motivated. Anyway, his turned out really nice. I'm hoping mine can turn out half as nice as his, so it's looking pretty decent so far. I'm happy with it. So I'll put you back up on the tripod and we will uh, get to going. Okay, look, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these ailerons and the flats off. Cause they're not really needed right now. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take those pods off. Take the landing gear out. These come off pretty easy, you just go to the front. Just like that. Now I'm gonna take those landing gear out. And I'm going to Clearance the pods after I get it sanded and filled. I think it'd be easier that way. That way they're the right shape.
Well, that wing just got light. <laughs> okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is take some 80 grit and I'm just gonna scuff up where the uh, super fill is gonna go. Give it something to stick to. Okay, we're gonna prep the surface with some denatured alcohol to clean anything off. That'll give it a nice clean, oil-free surface to stick to. up the super fill you have to stir it up each one I use a separate stick for each one and when I weigh it I'm going to use this stick for this this stick to add and then I will stir it with another stick and get rid of these because you don't want to cross contaminate your hardener with the, uh, the resin I guess whatever it's called anyway we will uh, do that. I'm gonna tack these off because probably paper towel lint on it. It's not like I'm painting or anything, but I just want to make sure it don't have any lint in it. So we'll do that next. 
Okay, I'm gonna tack these off. So now, this is a two to one mixture. I won't need a whole lot, but I'm going to try to fill that little tub up. Try to go twenty. Close enough. And put enough in of this in there to make thirty. Whew! It smells like ammonia. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get another stick. I don't want to put that stick down in there. Make sure the lids are on there tight because it's going to keep it fresh. And just stir this up. Make sure it's mixed really well. I think it way too much.
been a while since I've used this stuff. Oops. Probably won't look pretty right now. The reason why I'm going way up here is because of that seam lip. a lot of that stuff. I'm not a bodywork expert, so if it don't look pretty, it's that's why.
This is just some alcohol. I'm going to use to smooth this edge a little bit. All right, well, with that cure, it might. I'm gonna go ahead and use this with my finger and put a little fillet in the wheel well. Since I got some, I don't know if I might waste it.
That'll look a little better anyway. By using alcohol on your fingertip, it makes it a nice smooth fillet. I hate bifocals, man. These things suck. Can't see what. Just kind of want to ease it around there, make it nice and smooth.
Now, if I have to, I'll put another another coat on this one, especially. I got a cracked floor. I want to make sure it gets plenty of coverage. Okay. I'm gonna leave it be. We'll come back in eight hours and do our thing with it. Trying to cover up that seam where the wheel well liner comes together. I know it looks kind of messy right now, but it'll sand off. But I wanted to put like a little fillet or fillet inside. I keep saying fillet for some reason. Inside the uh, wheel well. I had a, so when the wheel smacked in, it cracked the floor here. So I wanted to fill that in. So it's, the fillet's a little bit bigger on that one than it is that one, but that's okay. It'll be fine. And it's going to be... I'm going to spray these inside with flat black so it'll all blend in. You won't see it. This will be zinc chromate. Anyway, it's looking pretty decent. I got these smoothed out. I used the alcohol finger trick to smooth them out. They'll sand smooth. Filled in the seam. And, you know, if I have to, I'll... I'll put another coat on, but I don't think I will. We'll see. Anyway, I'll see you in eight hours. Okay, it's been over eight hours. As you can see, I've been sanding on this just to get a feel for it. It's been years since I've uh, used this stuff. So it's, it's sanding pretty nice. I'm going to uh, put it in fast speed to go through it because, you know, just to do this, on camera would take forever so I'll uh, put it in fast speed sand them out and then I'll uh, bring you back and show you what it looks like and we'll get to it Okay, there it is. Sand it out smooth. This area right here looks like it's a divot, but it's not. It's smooth. There's a, uh, that's part there is like CA. So it's smooth. 
I'm going to take it and spray it with some high build primer and we'll see what she looks like. Then I'll complete the other one off camera. There's a uh, finished sanded out wheel well. And I still got uh, to prime it yet, so. I'll do the other one and then I'll show you both. All right, here's the primed land gear bulb. Not too bad. I'm happy with it. Pod installed. Temporarily, of course. I'm starting out with 80 grit on these wheel wells just to get the uh, the over putty off of the uh, plywood and then I'll uh, take the 220 or 180 and I'll take the corner and just kind of bend it around my finger like this and I'll use that to make the radius for the fillet so that's basically what I'm doing it's kind of boring work right? and it's loud so I'll probably put you in fast speed for that Okay, the two wheel wells are filleted, I guess that's the word, and uh, I'm going to finish doing the pod, still got to sand out this pod, and prime it. Once I get that sanded and primed, it's fiberglass time. That 80 grit gets it knocked down really quick and then you just take your 180 and then 220 to smooth it up before you prime it. All right, there's the second one, sand it out. I'm gonna go ahead and prime this one. I sealed this with thin CA. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime this and uh, bring it back up and put it on the wing, see what it looks like. Primer's still a little bit wet. It ain't perfect, but it's good enough for what it's gonna do. Gonna maiden it. And then it's going to be hung in someone's man cave. We'll let that set up a little bit and I'll put it on. All right, there they are. It's pretty good for what it is. ABS plastic vacuum forms, you know, 
Could have went with fiberglass, but I kind of like the challenge of making these work. So anyway, the only thing I got left to do on these things is install the retracts and grind out the uh, slot. I think I'm going to do that after I get the wing fiberglass. And the reason being is, you know, you're messing around with raw balsa wood and you end up getting hanger rash out the yin yang. So I'm going to wait to do those. It was bad enough putting these things on. It scraped my leading edge off the sand. It's smooth. But uh, anyway, that's gonna, I think I'll call this the uh, Super Fill demo landing gear pod video. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to name these things. I just put them out. Anyway, that's it for the Super Fill. And I got my landing gear pods uh, done. I still got to do the fillets on the uh, fuselage. I'm over here in the dark, but I'm going to do a Super Fill fillet around the tail. I'm going to kind of smooth out. Just smooth it. It doesn't need much. And I want to do a little fillet around the scoop. Other than that, that's all I'm doing. Oh, and uh, the bottom that bottom part there is going to get a little bit of super fill around it. Other than that, uh, that's all I got to do with the super fill. Well, that'll conclude this episode. We demonstrated the super fill, how that works. Did the seams on the gear pods with the super fill, sand them smooth, primed them. Got them all set on there. Uh, I got all I have to do is mount the gear, cut that slot in. But I, like I said earlier, I'm going to wait until I, I uh, fiberglass this wing because you know your fingernails and stuff get around there and stuff bangs up against it, and you know you get hanger rash. And I'm trying to avoid as much of that as possible. I still got a couple little dings I need to fix, but it's not too bad yet. So anyway. Uh, Next episode, I'll probably do an episode on fiberglassing, how I do it. You know, it's there's a million different ways of doing it. This is just my way that I'm going to show you. And uh, I'm sure I'll get a lot of people saying, uh, you shouldn't have done it that way. You should have done it this way. But, you know, it's going to be done by the time you see it. So <laughs> it's too late. But anyway, we'll uh, end this video here. And uh, until next video, uh, be sure and... Uh, Hit that notification bell and subscribe if you want to. I'd really appreciate it. And share my videos. And uh, hopefully somebody gets something out of them. Anyway, until next episode, thanks for watching.